Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So obviously today was the last day of the qualifiers um, and it was the final qualifier. This one is for the monthly finals of October. So myself, Bobby and Alec, you know, obviously we were going to be in it repping Tempo Storm. Um, so we made it all the way to the semifinals. Those are the games we're going to be going over. Um, round of 16 was kind of iffy. We played against uh, Smurf account with like just double tank and like they were stalling it took an hour and a half to do like five sets it was really sus but we ended up winning that um so we're just gonna go over the semi-final games and yeah let's get into it okay guys game number one it is on double swoosh so we're playing against raz danny kenny and uh yeezy so they're definitely a top na team and they've been doing like a lot of work recently in the upcoming qualifiers so we're going with a poco pam comp so right off the bat me and alec are just gonna body up this right side and just because we have so much sustain together like it's just the right side is usually the tough side to win so our strat is just like pressure it and then just keep them back because we have so much healing now they don't have a tar or anything so i can be pretty aggro all i have to do really is watch out for bow mines they don't have a lot of like burst damage and obviously i have my gadgets and my heals now kenny is playing screeching solo it's actually like not too bad and you'll see he does pretty good with it this game um alec gets kind of wild here and i was just trying to <laughs> I was trying to keep Alec alive, but you can see Kenny, uh, he's getting some good screeching solos off. Alec is just like heading to their base. I'm trying my best to keep him alive. After we talked about it, he's like, yeah, you should just let me die. Um, but I almost get caught up there because of that. So I'm just making sure I don't feed the Mr. P too, too much. I'm going to pop a gadget just to be safe because he does have screeching solo. And, you know, that does catch you off guard. So we're going to have to trigger these mines just because they're blocking my path to mid. Bobby has gone pull, so it should just be free lane for him right now. So yeah, he's going to take out Danny and they popped their mines when I went to trigger them. So now we can just move up and get like full control of the map again. Bobby's close to super because he got the solo kill on Mr. P. Um, and Alec is just being Pam on the right side. So I'm doing my best to keep Alec alive. Bobby has been kind of like doing his own thing. He does have the good side to compensate for that. But uh, the strat was just like keep Alec alive <laughs> as long as possible. Bobby's gonna go in and get a nice double pull. I'm gonna heal just so that they can go grab the gem safely. Bobby's gonna get his pull back and we're just gonna clean up this game. So I gotta watch out for the mines. But besides that, it was a really straightforward game. I feel like there was that one part where I was a little too high up, but um, I kind of, I don't think there was ever like any huge risk of me dying that game with the gems so really well played from us super clean game okay guys game number two so we're gonna be back at it same map we're switching it up the poco comps are really strong here so we're going poco double tank this time we're going daryl just for the hard engage and it's like consistent you know jackie it's really fast but that's with its gadget so daryl's just like consistent engage always gonna run straight at uh piper and take it out um, and me and Alec are just pushing up this left side a little bit. We have full control right now, so it's really good. We also have the first three gems, which is always nice. Uh, you don't have to worry about like panicking and picking any up for a little while longer at least. Um, so Raz is gonna jump, but Bobby's gonna do a good roll and just go through his mines and take him out. So Alec does get caught up by the mines there and <sighs> rip Alec's grass. He worked so hard for that. Um, but I'm just gonna be keeping them alive this game. Uh, I gotta watch out for Piper a lot, and Bobby is gonna be kinda, I don't know. <laughs> that roll is a little reckless, I think. That was like into three of them, but uh, it's okay. We have like total control. I just gotta be careful of the Piper. I knew it was there. I just thought I was playing at like the max range from the Piper. So unfortunately I did get hit, um, but I'm just gonna try keeping Alec alive here. Bobby's gonna do some good pressure and just roll in. So that's really what our comp is about. Um, and they did remove the mine from the middle, so I'm free to just kind of walk in and take it out. Alex's gonna pop his shield, and you can just see he's chaining mines at this point, but I know he's running low on gadgets, so he's gonna like not use them as often. Um, and Bobby's gonna get taken out there as well. So they have like pretty good control. They got a Pam turret, they have mine set up. Um, but we do have the gem lead, which is always nice, like I said earlier. So we kind of just have to look for our moment. Bobby's gonna roll over the mines. Unfortunately, he just missed that one. Um, and it didn't really do too much good because he gets his mines right back and i'm just gonna try keeping alec alive he's doing a lot of good pressure there so i play really passive with poco um and you know alec is gonna take out piper bobby is gonna roll over the mines and we only need one more gem at this point so anyone can pick it up really it doesn't have to be me uh just because we can keep them alive so i'm just gonna like try shielding for bobby if he needs it and just like healing him constantly just so he doesn't go down uh they do have mines so they have a ton of pressure on us and if they get a reset bobby's kind of wild with uh just going in there 
makes it out with uh, 300 HP, but unfortunately he does go down. Uh, there's gems in the middle though, and Alec is there to grab it. We got a pretty good gem spawn right there at the end actually. So that's gonna, otherwise they could have tied it, I think. Um, or it would have been close. Yeah, I think they could have tied if we didn't get that gem spawn. So lucky gem spawn, and I'm just gonna keep Alec alive. I knew I was really close to my heal, um, and we will take the gem grab map. <laughs> Okay guys, map number two, Super Stadium. Um, I don't think we had the best track record on this map, but we were anticipating them going tanks, so I played Spike and we have Poco Frank. Um, I feel like I did really strong this game on Spike. You can see I'm hitting so much RNGs. I hit them with three there. Um, I get a really nice super off that just traps both of them, uh, gets Alec a free hit on their max, and obviously Frank's super is huge. So I'm just applying a ton of pressure from my side. I take out Kenny, um, and then we're in a really good position to score here. So Bobby's just gonna be there to tap it in. So really strong start from us. We get the first full in 30 seconds. Now they do wanna put the max on my side and they do that a lot better in the second game. Alex's gonna miss a super. Um, I'm just gonna like focus on chipping down their Carl a little bit. He will hit me, um, but we should be able to score here on Honestly, I think okay they're gonna take Alec out and I thought we might go for a goal so I just super there I do get a max gadget out it's kind of necessary I think just because everyone was alive but uh, it's looking pretty like Alec's gonna have to make a save here and luckily he does so nice reactions from Alec just to catch him out I do catch Kenny out. I know he's going back there so you always want to aim your spike supers a little like you got to predict where they're going uh, to get maximum value so I got a good amount of it back there and we got mid control off of that as well so now we just got to chip them down and I think Alec can score here yeah so Alec probably could have walked that in um, it was kind of like a miscommunication I guess um, and Alec didn't know he was gonna get healed. So I'll take out Kenny and I'm just gonna hold the Carl back. But on the other end of things, like the Max did get through. So unfortunately they will score. Um, there's not much I could do there. Uh, we did get taken out, I was on the wrong side of things. So I'm gonna go on the open side just to make it a little easier for Alec. Otherwise he's just gonna feed, not his fault, just how the matchup works. Uh, Alec's gonna miss his super, a little unfortunate as well. That's gonna open up the map and make it even tougher for him. So he probably should've been a little more patient there, but I'm just telling Bobby, like me and you gotta stay alive here. Alec's gonna go down. So we got a turtle and just hold it down until he gets back. Uh, now Kenny does have his mind, so I'm just trying to keep them off the ball. And unfortunately, Raz just gets there in time and sneaks it in. So kinda unlucky, but we're gonna try it again one more time. Okay guys, unfortunately there is no replay of the second Brawl Ball game, but it's pretty much the same thing we lost. Um, so the sets are tied 1-1 and I'd play it if I could, it's just the game won't let me. So our strat here was Alec and Bobby are supposed to be really aggro right side, then I sneak up left side, but they kind of take way too long and we're gonna lose a lot of position and a gadget from Bobby and I'm behind them. So I'm just gonna like start pressuring them. Uh, but unfortunately, Alec and Bobby do get taken out by their Jackie there. So I'm just gonna be a nuisance and trying to wait for my team, maybe waste some of their shots. I don't wanna feed them obviously, but I do wanna keep my position. So uh, Raz is gonna super me there and you know, Alec, oh. That's, that was really good minds from Kenny. Um, kind of unlucky on our part, but I'm gonna survive, but he definitely caught Bobby and Alec out there really well. So really well played to Kenny. Um, who by the way, is a grandmaster in League of Legends. Very impressive, Kenny. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna like sneak behind them though. And I know I have the angle on them here. So it's just about getting the kills because Sprout is so tanky. So I'm making sure every shot hits Sprout because I know just how shieldy he is. And I do take them out, but unfortunately I get hit by a Sprout shot. And on the other end of things, Alec does take out their Jackie so it was a really good trade for us we kind of caught up after that um, so we're only down by four stars right now so we got to stay alive I think I have one gadget left um, but I feel like we're in a good spot actually so Alec is gonna get taken out here I think um, I'm gonna try doing some pressure and I'll take out their Jackie luckily their bow uh, he used his mines a little early otherwise it would have been better to let that one explode Alex gonna walk over the mines uh, we probably I think we told them but it was like kind of like too late at that point so we have 20 seconds to get two kills um, I really want the sprout, but you can see he has wall and I, I'm out of gadgets at this point. Alex gonna walk over some more mines. Uh, and there's no way for me to get the sprout just because of that. And I don't have my speed. So we got to go for the Jackie or something, but unfortunately we couldn't get it done that game. And it was close. I like this comp, but, um, we just didn't play it properly, honestly. 
Alec loves mines. He does. <laughs> okay, guys. Game number two, a bounty. Now, this is a really important game for us to win. Obviously, you don't want to go down in a competitive series. So, we're switching up. Bobby's on his comfort pick. Gene, I'm on Tick. I love playing Tick in competitive. Um, it's a fun brawler for me. I know on ladder, it's kind of not liked very well but in competitive it has its own little like niche right now and i think it's i think takes balance in competitive um so anyways i want to focus on the brock mainly unfortunately i don't see the jackie there i'm just gonna like super to try or sorry gadget to try anyway but i do make her use a gadget and jackie gadgets definitely a lot more impactful than a tick gadget tick gadgets kind of not the best <laughs> but um you know, we, we do have the lead at this point and we're just gonna play defensive. I want my tick mine to go out and just get some vision so we can do that. Um, so even though like I'm odds are I'm not gonna hit that, hit that, they have to shoot and then Bobby can pull. So I'm kind of trapped in the corner here. I gotta, I have the regen star power. That's why I'm not shooting. Um, so I'm just trying to stay alive just because I do regen so fast uh, with the star power. That's why I could have tried trapping him, but odds are I die there. So I'm just barely hanging on for dear life at this point. 484 in the corner. They really wanted to kill me, but I just kept that at range luckily. And Bobby has his pull again. So he's going to be really aggro on the left side as he has like total vision there. The Brock can jump it, but it's like a reaction test. So Bobby tests his reaction. Uh, you failed easy, unfortunately. Good pull from Bobby. Um, and Alec is just going to go in and hopefully get the kill there okay nice i'm gonna be there to finish it off but on the other end of things bobby does go down so i do take out kenny there and a nice nice job from uh the tick mine that was actually a really good or the tick head that was a really good one it got a bow mine and it got a brock gadget so we just got to make sure we don't get too backed up and they definitely have a comp that could do that to us so bobby's gonna pull I don't know if that was the best pull, <laughs> but uh, me and Alec just dodging for our lives. Unfortunately, we do get taken out and we're up by one star, but Bobby's going to be there to get one more. So we get a nice win in the second game of Bounty. <clears throat> okay, guys, <laughs> game number three of Bounty. Kano, thank you. Um, we're going to be going back with the same comp. I, I'm i fine with either of these comps, honestly. I think I played both pretty decently. So, um, you know, Bobby played really good on the Gene last time. So they're bringing up Mr. P to try to counter him. So the strat is just I see on Mr. P. We need vision on Jackie because I want to play aggro the entire time. So I can, that's why you'll see me like following him around and we're like, yo, he's switching sides. And like, okay, let me just tick walk over here. Um, so I just want to keep on Yeezy and he is using the revolving door star power, I think. So it's gonna be really annoying if he ever does get it, but he's gonna be kind of useless until he does get it. So as long as Alec, Alec being kind of wild there, taking out the bow mine with the super, but he does get his super pretty easily with Bobby pulling people towards him. Um, so I'm gonna drop it just in the back there and kind of make them, you know, just hoping to catch them off guard just because sometimes you do want to hold on to it, but you get so much value sometimes that it just makes sense to just like toss it out and see if you get like any luck. So I'm focusing again on Mr. P and Bo. Just I can't do too much to Jackie. They're way better at dealing with it than me. So I get Kenny to one shot, unfortunately. And nice. Good pull from Bobby there. Alec is going to be there to clean up. So Kenny is one shot again. I'm just zoning them off. Mr. P kind of trapped himself, but he's going to get out before he gets into too much trouble. So good job from him. And I think he is getting close to a super at this point. So I'm kind of i'm like okay guys i'm dead at this point like i'm just trying to give the kill to jackie uh so mr p doesn't get a super but he does get a super and he's gonna put it in a really weird spot um so i'm just gonna target it right away because bobby does have his pull and the only thing that can stop him from pulling this penguin um is the little penguins so we're gonna take it out bobby's gonna get the free pull on yeezy and we're gonna have a really good lead uh as long as alec doesn't die i think we're fine but you know, Alec is tanky bull with like shield star power. So I'm going to go for Kenny and I think we get Raz too. Maybe no. Okay. We don't get Raz, but we're going to take the game and the sets. We're up 2-1 right now. Okay, guys, this is potentially the last set if we do win it. So we're going with Poco, uh, Pam and Frank. And you guys will see just like the sustain on this comp is crazy. Frank is just very... <laughs> 
very big prank. It doesn't even matter if he hits a shot, but he does hit a shot there. So we're just running as a unit and like literally grabbing everything. They have like, Mr. P is a really bad pick into this, by the way. Um, he's not gonna be able to do much against our comp just because it's gonna be a nuisance, but his penguins we can literally just ignore. So I'm gonna take out Kenny there. Uh, actually, Bobby is. And we're gonna get every single bolt so far in the game and the first bot. So we don't even need to go in. The only time we'd be really comfortable with going in would be if uh, Frank does get his super. That way he can open up the mid and we don't have to like fully commit on the side and risk losing uh, like the mid at all because we want to spawn trap with this comp. We have Poco, we have Pam, we have Frank. It's a lot of like spawn trapping. Um, so I'm going to be really aggro. I'm using the damage turret and I just want to keep them out of the middle area. Uh, to the best of my abilities. Unfortunately, Alex Super does go a little shy of the wall, so it's really good if you break that wall for your offense. Um, I, I'm gonna take out Yeezy here, or sorry, Danny here, and you know, Bobby and Alec have just been holding down their side. They cannot get through like the Poco, um, <laughs> the Poco Frank. It's it's a lot for anyone. Unfortunately, I walk backwards there. If I walk forward, I think he just kills me anyways. So I was getting a little greedy. I didn't want them to get any bolts this game, <laughs> honestly. Um, so, so far they haven't, um, and we're looking pretty good. We have mid control and we're looking to just keep doing what we've been doing so far. They are going to get the penguins out, but again, it's not really too impactful at this point. So the Mr. P is trying to take out the Frank. Good luck. Um, me and Bobby are just holding down the other side. Like you can just see, it's not his fault. It's just the pick. We had a very, they don't have any like really high damage for us, I guess. So unfortunately uh, for them, I don't think they secure a bolt this game. We're gonna grab every bolt and we're gonna have a really strong last push. Um, and yeah, me and Bobby are just gonna go collect the last two bolts just to say we did, you know? But um, yeah, really, really strong game from us. Uh, this comp's very good into the comp they used. <laughs> so we are just gonna take it. Okay guys, next up we have um, the second game of Siege and we kind of anticipated that they would go B just because it's, if they thought we were going to play that comp, B would be very good into it. Um, so I'm on Jesse. This is my Jesse debut in like the past year in competitive. I'm very excited. I've been waiting to play Jesse a long time. Uh, so you can see I'm winning my side and I do get the bolt and I will take uh, Danny down. So. Now I want to get my turret on offense. The new Jesse gadget on offense is actually pretty good. So that's why we're playing it. And, um, you know, if I do get my turret set up in mid, it's pretty viable. And it's going to be really just a nuisance for them to take out. Unless they have the Pam damage turret. Unfortunately, the B does catch me out. And I don't get to pop my gadget in time. Otherwise, it would have done, like, probably, like, another, like, 20%. The gadget's, like, nuts. And it may have taken out one of them. Um, but... I probably should have just held down mid there. I got a little greedy. I got excited on the Jesse pick. I don't get to play Jesse often in competitive. So I'm going to look to take out Danny here. And I think, okay, so he's going to gadget there. And he has the Pam pinching over. I think the Pam should just rush me, honestly. I wasn't sure if she had damage to it. So I'm just keeping my distance. Um, and I'm getting 2v1 a little bit. So I know I can one-shot Danny. And Kenny's going to, like, stop the pinch for whatever reason. So that kind of gives me a window of opportunity to just reset and there's no like bolts spawning on well, there is, but I can just kind of regen and get ready for it and 60 HP it's unlucky I do get my turret out um I thought it would be enough but my turret is gonna like just you can see it's doing like work right now honestly and he put the pam turret so it's just like keeping them low it takes out the pam turret and that's without my gadget on so this game's a lot closer but we do have my turret and very uh, good location considering they don't have a good means to take it out and you can see it's just doing work again and I'll win my side as well so unless Raz can like kill all of us and get every single bolt we do have this game on lock and you know I think Jesse it's not a bad pick honestly I'm not saying it's super meta but it's definitely viable in certain scenarios now just because of the gadget um you mainly just want to use it for like siege and heist i think i'm going to use the jesse Un unfortunately i don't have any jesse pins it's kind of sad i do like jesse a lot but this jesse skin is also the best skin in the game by the way guys um so you guys can see i get like my little gadget on say pew 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 <laughs> and it's just gonna do so much work because like the numbers just stack up um and we're gonna take the series so really well played to everyone 
okay guys that is gonna be it for today's video so obviously a big shout out to my opponents really well played um my teammates and yeah we're looking forward to the october finals first way to do september ones it's coming up in two weeks so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay um and i'll see you all tomorrow peace